All right. So what do I feed my cow? I've got to mix up her tote that I usually do anyway. Here's the way it looks right now. It's empty. And I usually buy the rolled oats, but they didn't have any today. So, anyway, I will explain each thing as I put it in there. Alrighty. Like I said, I'm just going to finish up what oats I have right now. on a 14% dairy feed. This is all the stuff that's in it. And I don't really have a way of gauging how much to feed her. So the way I do it is an old oatmeal container. So it holds two pounds. So she gets three scoops of this mixture that I do twice a day and then um, when I put it in the bucket I also add water to it just until it floats and then it soaks for 12 hours. She missed this morning's feed though because I didn't have oats to do everything with so I couldn't make everything. what her feed looks like. You see it? That's what her feed looks like. It's got, I don't know what all, it's, everything's in there. It's, it's a good roundabout feed. But for this whole thing, this is 50 pounds. protein then they thin out way too much so you want to try to think of like bodybuilder type stuff you want to bulk them up bulk them up this stuff is really dusty
My bin right now is about three quarters of the way full. buy crimped oats this time because they had no rolled oats. So I'll only do about half the bag since I had about a quarter of the bag left on the rolled oats. I'll only do about half the bag of this. They make these things stupid proof. But then the stupid proof tears, and then you still stupid because you can't open it. Mix it up again. Your hands are a blender. On a side note, this stuff doesn't stink. It all smells good. alfalfa pellets. I'll only be able to do about half the bag again. This is almost to the top. Just a feed mix shovel. Mix it in like that. No, I don't go all the way to the bottom. All those oats are still sitting down there. But here is how full it is. You see, it's all the way up to the top, and it's got a pretty well good mixture in it. That's the brand alfalfa pellets I like. That's just the store brand oats. Um, Blackstrap molasses over there. Um, that I was using to, you know, get this like a sh it's sugar, basically. So I was using that to bulk her up. All right, I want to show you real quick. So there's how full it is. And I already did my three scoops in there, but you can see basically the clean is how high the water line will put it. So I should do this one handed. Do it just until it starts floating. kind of gauge it so it'll rise that much more it'll be about a basically I'm almost a half a bucket full 
that they share. And Georgie eats more, of course. But that's um, that's what I do. And I think it's worked pretty well. She hasn't had any feed today just because I didn't make it in time. But she's standing underneath the fan right now. And as you can see, if I can get it to zoom correctly. This looks pretty good for a dairy cow, huh? A lot of dairy cows get under condition. She's also on four acres of fresh grass also. So she gets that. But Maybell, she um Maybell also eats that. She's never had any kind of calf starter or anything like that. She has been, we've cash shared. She's been on her mom since birth, never took her away. I do now have to, if I want to milk, I don't milk every single day. If I want to milk, then I will um, separate them at night. So, and that's, I do the 12 hours. I started out with eight hours, then went nine hours. Now I'm at the 12 hours only to make sure I do get a gallon because of um, herd shares. Um, but I think that's it. As far as like her feed, I give, like I said, I give that to her twice a day. Um, the three scoops, which is two pounds each, so it's six pounds of feed twice a day. And like I said, all that is mixed up and it seems to be working pretty well. You guys don't forget to like, subscribe. Goodbye.